and relentless pressure you have to think for the final 15 minutes Delatraz thinking about a move around the outside at Repsol corner there they're going to be two abreast coming out of turn it's number four go either side there wasn't quite room I think he was hoping the Ferrari would hold the line in the middle of the corner no room there but he's going to have a crack soon enough isn't he Neil Gianni tries to position the car to make it difficult through the next turn Louis Delatraz goes to the outside, the inside takes a position brilliantly done holds the line holds the curb and he goes through back into the lead at the four hours of Barcelona. And punching the air in the garage is Sally. Your flashpoint is the exit of turn 14. This was the overtake for Louis Delatraz. It looked actually like he was going to just follow Neil Jarney through, and at the last possible moment, very similar to Charlie Eastwood's manoeuvre in the same car early on in the race, darting up the inside. That is not an easy thing to do, especially when you've got Ulysse de Pau in the Ferrari trying to the best he can stay out of the way of this incident. I would say that Gianni was slightly compromised into turn five because he was having to avoid the Ferrari and the snap on the exit. And I mean, the way that this car's been set up, the 34, on the tyres and also on the suspension, Delatraz could hit the brakes with full confidence that it would stop and it would just stay on the on rails. And you're right.